Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, we will present about our final project which is the production of bioplastic by cone and tapioca starch plant First, let me introduce myself and my teammates My name is Siti Nur Ain This is Sharifah Nuliana And lastly, Siti Najiha This project is advised by Ms. Nurihamidi Haji Yahya as our supervisor Let's start, shall we? Objective of this project is to produce a biodegradable polymer that can be easily decomposed using waste material as the key component of its production by applying simple procedure. This project also is conducted to develop a lower-cost plastic product that contribute in reducing environmental pollution caused by petroleum-based plastic. Lastly, to test the strength and the water absorption of bioplastic produce by considering the type of pesticide and solvent used. The reason why we want to create this bioplastic product is because of we are aware with the growth of plastic consumption where it's famous for having a long life properties and become people choices in packaging materials. Even though it's a convenience to people, it has become a great enemy to environment where it leads to a big disaster such as environmental pollution. Plastic, especially petroleum-based plastic, cannot be easily degraded by natural processes and it takes too much time for it to vanish completely. So, in this project, we produce a corn tapioca-based plastic in response to that problem. Our final product will be a mini bioplastic bag. Bioplastic have already entered the market space mainly in packaging industry. This new trend of food packaging system have been developed according to consumer requirements. This will give benefit to entrepreneurs where they can use this opportunity to increase their economic income. They can also collaborate with the other company that use bioplastic as their main product. The advantage of bioplastic as a food packaging is to protect the food from environment and maintaining their quality. The most extensive application of bioplastic is packaging. So, what is bioplastic? Well, bioplastic is made from polymer derived from biological sources or renewable sources that can be naturally recycled by biological processing. Starch is one of the renewable sources, so with starch, we can create the starch-based bioplastic. Starch-based bioplastic can be decomposed by microorganisms without leaving any toxic from the plastic. So, that is why it's environmental friendly. This starch-based bioplastic fulfills our desired characteristic, so that is why we want to create it. So, let's see how our bioplastic was produced. Equipment used in this project can be found in the kitchen at home. In order to conduct the project, we use gas stove, digital balance, measuring spoons, plastic containers, wooden spatula, tray, plastic sheet, as well as non-stick frying pan. The material is cornstarch, tapioca flour, water, sugar syrup, lime juice, and food coloring. The differences between our project with the other study is the main materials that we use. Well, firstly we use corn and tapioca starch plant where we want to improve the mechanical properties of the bioplastic. Next, we replace glycerol with sugar syrup as the plasticizer to increase the interchange spacing and reducing the interaction between chains so the bioplastic is more flexible, strong, and less brittle. We use lime juice instead of vinegar. The combination of acid in the juice and heat causes hydrolytic reaction that breaks down the starch into smaller molecules. This combination never be done before by any researcher. Okay, let's continue. First step is 
with 7 grams of cornstarch using digital balance. Wake 7 grams of tapioca flour. Put both of the wake cornstarch and tapioca flour into the non-stick pan. Measure 30 ml of lime juice using measuring spoon and pour into the pan. Next, measure 20 ml of sugar syrup. Measure 120 ml water and pour into the pan. Add 5 ml of food coloring into the mixture. Stir the mixture until it mixes well. Heat the mixture on gas stove in low moderate heat for 5 to 10 minutes or until the mixture becomes viscous. Turn off the gas stove and cool the mixture for about 3 minutes. Place the plastic sheet on the tray and pour the mixture on it. Spread the mixture as thin as possible using wooden spatula. Left the mixture at room temperature for about 24 hours. Lastly, this is the final product after Lady Cool for 24 hours. This is production of bioplastic by cornstarch and tapioca flower blend. Mini bioplastic bag strength testing. As a result, mini bioplastic bag must have a high tensile strength to avoid the plastic bag from easily torn. To test the strength of mini bioplastic bag, six type of load are added into the bag. The plastic bag is hung using a rope to measure the strength of mini bioplastic bag and the time taken for mini bioplastic bag to read. The load is added one by one into the plastic bag.
The total mass of the load that added into the mini bio plastic bag is measured. Water absorption test on mini bio plastic bag. With the initial mass of bio plastic, 200 ml water are added into the container. Place a pieces of mini bio plastic bag into the water for one minute. After a minute, the mass of bioplastic is measured. Make sure to wipe off excess water on the surface of bioplastic to get the accurate mass of it. The testing method is repeat for 5, 10, 50, 20, 25, 30 and 35 minutes. Let's move on to discussion. In this section, we will discuss about the result obtained from the both tests. From the result of strength test on mini bioplastic bag, there were two mechanical properties that can be seen, the tensile strength and elongation at break. We assume this plastic have a good tensile strength and high elongation at break because it can withstand 1085 gram of material or load in 4 minutes and 24 seconds considering to its small size. Sucrose in sugar syrup possess a low tendency to crystallize so it decreases the breaking stress and increases the breaking strain immediately after preparation of the bioplastic. The tensile strain can be influenced by amylose content in starch where when the amylose concentration increases, the tensile strain will also increase. Since we blend both corn and tapioca starch, the amylose concentration increases. So, that is why our bioplastic have a good tensile strength. Next, I will talk about water absorption test on mini bioplastic bag. From the result, we can see that our bioplastic cannot absorb too much water. The mass of bioplastic after soak in the water only show a changes in the first 5 minutes and remain unchanged for the next minutes. This means that saturation level reach. This bioplastic bag have a low saturation level and not a good water absorber. After 35 minutes, the structure of bioplastic gotten softer and decompose its characteristic as a water soluble plastic. From here, we learn that our contapioca bioplastic bag cannot be used for wet materials. Therefore, the strength and water absorption tests have satisfy the properties of our desired bioplastic product. There was an error occur while conducting this absorption test. The mass of the bioplastic after soak in the water should be constant after reach saturation level. But the mass change at 50, 20 and 30 minutes. It may be because the water leak out from the bioplastic after leaving out from the water. There are some limitations in the study. First of all, is the measuring apparatus used in making the bioplastic layer. The apparatus used may not be as accurate as measuring apparatus used in the laboratory. The second one is the lacking of measuring tool. This had caused some testing such as thickness measuring cannot be conducted. The third one is the weather. Humid weather caused the bioplastic layer took longer time to dry completely. Through the study, it is found that bioplastic have some potentials to replace petroleum-based plastic. This is because bioplastics have lower carbon footprint compared to petroleum-based plastics. Bioplastics are also capable to lower the greenhouse gas emission. These huge benefits can be used as efforts to reduce reliance on petroleum-based products. Other than mini bioplastic bag, starch-based bioplastic can also be used to produce mini hand basket. Since starch-based bioplastic can co incorporate with various petroleum-based polymers or biopolymers, they can be used to create unique composite materials. These composite materials can be molded to produce various new products such as phone cases and cutlery. Other than that, starch-based 
bioplastics can also be used to produce drug capsules in pharmaceutical sector. However, in-depth study needs to be conducted regarding their biocompatibility and toxicity. In conclusion, bioplastics can be produced by using renewable resources, which in this case is corn starch flour. Future research and study should be aimed to discover proper formulation to create more diverse applications. The research and study are crucial in order to fulfill consumer demand for environmentally friendly products as well as efforts to reduce pollution. That's all from us for our final year project. Thank you.